Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm excited to introduce our eighth plugin, the Divi Dynamic Helper. This plugin enables the missing dynamic content options in the video, audio, gallery, and map modules in Divi. So it enables you to connect custom fields to the modules to display content dynamically. This is really exciting, the only product on the market for this, and I'm excited to show you a little more about it. Let's take a look. So here is the blog post. If you're watching the video on YouTube, you can click the link in the description and come over to this page. So this pretty much just gives you a summary of what I just said, what this plugin is all about. Now, how does this work? So basically, you can use any of your favorite custom fields, whether that's the built-in custom fields in WordPress, you know, some of these popular plugins, advanced custom fields, toolset, pods, metabox, and it enables you to use those with Divi, something you have never been able to do before when you're using, you know, a video module. Now you can add a URL into a custom field and the video module will play it. You know, there's no such option in Divi for these modules. So let me just show you here, kind of my infographic here without our plugin, you know, there's no dynamic content icon in, in either of these, video gallery, audio, and map. But when you activate our plugin, that's, that's literally all you do. There's no settings in the plugin, you just activate it. And then, you know, those dynamic content icons appear for you to click on. And when you click on them, then you connect to the custom fields. That's really as simple as it gets. So again, these are the existing modules. We're not adding any new modules. Here's just some, some infographics showing you, you know, adding the video here, connecting to the, with the icon there in the video module and it displays on the front end. Here's a GIF showing you how it works. Same with audio module, it'll play the audio, um, whatever you have, great for podcasting, um, put in the custom field uh, for our, you know, in the back end. The gallery, this is a big one because now you can actually use uh, the, even the advanced custom fields free version, free version, that's right, I said that, this is the first time a solution like this has come up for Divi. So you can make, use the Divi gallery module and you or clients or anyone can update their gallery with custom fields, that's right. And the same applies with the map module, right? You put in an address and um, yeah. So basically um, that's it. Like we're, this is version 1.0. Maybe we'll add this to more modules. Please let me know if we're missing some of the modules, um, dynamic content options or, or related features that you would like to see added. We do have extensive documentation. Go over here and click on the page here, getting started. It's it's the main documentation page. It'll walk you through all the things you need to know about installing the plugin, you know, everything about updating and license keys and all that. But then over here on the side, we have a documentation guide on custom fields. So this is more if you're unfamiliar with custom fields and you want to you know, get more familiar with it, how they work, how to enable them in WordPress or use one of these plugins. And then each of these other ones have, you know, extensive information about using the, the modules and connecting it to custom fields, which custom fields are supported using the theme builder. You know, obviously we think of dynamic content, we think of templates and set and forget it kind of thing. Let me show you an actual demo. So right here, I'm in the back end of a page. So let's say I go ahead and fill in these custom fields that I've enabled in WordPress. So we have a video, audio, gallery, and map. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill these in real quick. So I'm just gonna grab a URL from a recent YouTube video, put that in here. Here I have an MP3 file and the gallery, I'm gonna get the image IDs. And for the map field, I'm just pasting in an address. Now I'm gonna update. So now I have my custom fields filled out. Now I'm going to go into Divi and add my four modules. All right, first of all, I'll add a video module. So I'll get rid of the default one there. And then here's this icon. Again, this is not here without our plugin. So we click on there. Now I'm going to click on video. 
All right, and save that. There you can see the video already comes up in the preview. Do the same with audio. So under the audio toggle, we've added the icon right here. Click on audio, and that's gonna play that MP3 file with gallery. Uh, and again, we've added the icon here. So I'll click on there and it's going to show the images. Um, actually, that's a preview. And then the map module, same thing here. We could choose like a center address with the map and we could also add a pin, you know, one of those red pins. Again, we're, these <laughs> icons are not here um, without our plugin. So now we've added all four. Let's exit the filter here. Okay, here's my video. Here I can play the audio. Here I can look at the images. And here's the map. So it's that easy, and that's using the built-in ones. Of course, you can use a plugin. For example, if you were to enable advanced custom fields, so I could start adding fields. So I could I could call one video. I could make that a text field. I could um, do an audio, and I could choose. Let's choose um, the file. So for this one, I want to be able to like select the file and then upload it. So I could do that. So and I can choose a map. So I could, for this, I would actually want to choose Google Map right there. And that'll show the map, you know, where I can search in the back end. And then for the gallery, you have to do one small different thing here. Select group. And then in the group, we'll say images. And we'll select the image files. And I'll just do this about five times. Now I'm going to update. Now I have all the different types. Let's get back to my page. So here are the fields in the back end. Here's the video. I can paste the URL there. I chose the file picker for this one, so I can go ahead and pick an MP3 file. Here's a map, so I could literally, you know, move around on this map and, and pick something on here, and it'll put it in there. And then with the gallery, I can choose images. I can upload images um, right here, or if they're already on the site, your client could do this very easily you know, whatever images you want in the gallery for this page, right? All right, so I'm gonna update that. Now we'll go back into the builder and make sure everything's connected. Put in the modules and connect them. Again, here, here it's advanced custom fields. They kind of have their own separate section here. So video, audio, right there. for the map, put the pin in there, and then I'll also uh, do the center address for that. And then we're left with the gallery. All right, so for the gallery, it's slightly different. Um, you'll pick the first image. It won't actually say that group name. Um, it's, it's not possible to show the group name in here, so just pick the first image there. And we'll take a look at this. All right, so there you go. So again, here um, you can go to our documentation area. We do have, like I said, a very complete documentation here. Um, you can go to our product page, obviously, and um, pretty much the same information as you're, as you're seeing in this video. All right, so as you can tell, I'm really excited about this plugin and I hope that you are too. So um, be sure to check it out and give me your feedback. And of course, always um, looking forward in the future for more uh, feature suggestions. Um, but we're really excited for what this does and what this can help you do. Um, whether you wanna just keep um, your client out of the builder, you know, use custom fields to, to eliminate the need to go in the builder or for yourself. You know, sometimes if you have a lot of data, you know, just opening the builder and, and updating the links and you know, all that in, in each module um, can be cumbersome. So custom fields can really be beneficial. All right, so again, you know where to find us if you need any help and the documentation area, of course. So that's all for now. We hope you enjoy this exciting new product and we'll see you all in our next video.